We will make an API project that displays MBA current scores using Python. You can access the source codes of the project from the link in the video description. You can subscribe to the YouTube channel to be notified of more videos like this. We will make an application that displays MBA current scores using Python API feature. First, I transfer the request library. It gives an error because there is no library in the project file. I start the transfer process by clicking the install button. The download will be completed in a short time. I am also transferring the printer library that I will use in the project. I am syncing an address to get the API service with a variable. The address consists of two parts. I synchronize the other part with another variable. Let's take a look at the web address. There is a lot of complex code on the site. At first glance, this may seem a little pointless. But thanks to these complex codes, I can learn the current MBA scores. I will try to read these complex codes using the pointer function. I am saving the data from the website in a variable. I then the print this data to the console screen. I edited complex codes using the printer library. Now we can read. I want to access the current scoreboard data under the links keyword. I can do this in easy way. First I access the links section in data. Now let's just see the link's content. The information I want to reach is the current scoreboard. I need some editing of code. I am creating a function to the retrieve data from the website. I will choose links data as return. I am creating a function to get the current score. I am saving the current scoreboard information to a variable using the getLinks function. Be careful not to make typos when using keywords. I am accessing the MBA games using the keyword games. I will show all matches and scores on screen. To do this, I create a for loop. I save home and away teams in variables using keywords. Finally, I synchronize the time and period information with variables. Using the print function, I print home and away team on the console screen. You can see all the keywords by examining the complex codes on the website.
I am printing the score of the match on the screen. Finally, I print the period information on the screen. The application will be complete when I call the function. I am running the app to test it. Current matches and scores are displayed on the screen. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you can specify them in the comments. You can subscribe to the YouTube channel to be notified of more videos like this.